Hey everybody, welcome back to the Magic Arena Stress Test Beta. Now in the last episode, we opened a bunch of packs and we left off saying that I was going to make my own deck, something that wasn't provided by Wizards, to kind of get a feel for the deck editor and maybe try something new. So, here's what I've got. Blue, white, cycling. Because of that Drake Haven we got, I figured, well, there's a bunch of you know like common and uncommon cycling cards that were included and I got the Drake Haven so I went for a cycling deck but this big exclamation point here in the middle shows that the deck is not complete I've got one more card that I want to add to this deck before we can actually take it out and play it now I wanted to kind of talk about the deck editor just a little bit first. So it's a pretty simplistic editor, which is not a bad thing, not by a long shot, uh, because it is pretty simple to kind of add cards in, take cards out, uh, when you've already got cards in. You can add them through clicking on this little number box, which I thought was interesting. And you've got some advanced filters, which is nice. Um, just a few little awkward things, though. Like, on this advanced filter list, there's no, like, X button to get out of this screen. You just click out of it, which is simple. And, you know, like, once you know that, just kind of, you know, duh. But see, I just clicked, if you couldn't hear it, and it didn't go away. It does not work all that well. I don't know. I think it'd be... I I just... I would prefer a button, honestly. That's just me. Also, the reset button here, which uh, resets all your filters, also resets all these filters up here. And just another like little nitpicking thing. I would prefer personally if the reset button were just out on the screen. Because if, say, you've got your filters going through here, you have to re-click on everything to turn it off. And I don't know, I feel like in most deck editors, there's kind of a reset button just kind of right out in the middle that wants to be seen. So you know how easy it is to reset all of your filters. Again, just nitpicking. It's not a huge deal. It's just something I would prefer. Um, now, when I look over here, it shows all the cards in my deck. I noticed that there is a tab for the sideboard. Uh, and I, I didn't make a sideboard because all of the games that I've played so far have just been one single game. Whoever wins, wins. So, I know that they're planning to do, like, events. I I would guess that means just, like, tournaments. Um, and I would imagine, you know, those would be sideboarded tournaments. But for just casual play, I don't think there's a reason to build a sideboard. So I didn't worry about it. Uh, now, if we keep going, this is the uh, the picture that gets shown up here you get to custom pick the picture that it shows which I think is a good touch uh, and if you want to change that you just click on a card and drag it up just dragging it so pretty simple uh, the deck name of the deck right here you just click on it type in what you want to call it and these here these little bars, it's not super self-explanatory just from looking at it, but when you click on it, you get to see some more in-depth details, and you'll see that it's actually showing you kind of like the ratio of creatures to non-creatures at the different mana costs. So at the one drops, I've got four one drops total. Most of them are creatures, a few like not very many are non-creatures and when you hover over it it tells you how many of what card you have 
that's neat. Uh, keep going to the right, and it actually shows you kind of like a graph, I guess. Uh, I'm used to seeing a pie graph like this on Tapped Out, where it will show you the percentage of color ratios you have, and it will actually give you the numbered color percentage ratios under that, as well as another, I don't think it's called a pie graph. I don't honestly know what this is called, but it's nice that it shows you, you know, your creatures and your non-creatures in your lands. However, it would be nice if they went in depth and showed you like your instants and sorceries and all that as well. And that kind of ties into another thing. Uh, if you click on these double bars here, you actually get to change the view. So these are like the cards in your, like these are these cards, just kind of changed so you see them in this list instead. And this is your deck down here, you get to see everything a little more in depth. But there's no way to sort through this. Like it sorts automatically by uh, con converted mana cost and uh, alphabetically. But that's it. You can't say, oh, I, I want to look at just the creatures or I want to compare how many creatures I have to everything else through this window. And you can't make this any bigger to my knowledge. I don't see any way to change the sizing of any of this. So this I feel like because of like Magic Online is a very standard viewer to edit a deck. Not just to put cards into a deck, but to actually edit the cards that you have in the deck. And it's not super user friendly because you just can't do anything except for drag and drop. So it'd be nice if they kind of added in some more functionality to this, letting you sort and rearrange cards. But anyway, I want to get some games in with this new blue white cycling deck. I think it'll be pretty cool. But if you're paying attention, we're missing a card. And if you're paying a lot of attention, we're also missing some of these guys. So I noticed that when you have a card that's grayed out and you click on it, whoa, redeem wild card, turn one common wild card into sacred cat. This action can't be undone. So these are not just like kind of like useless tokens and they're not as tied to the vault as I thought they were because I've actually used some of these and my number, my 60.6% .6 never went down. I was kind of afraid about using these at first when I did that the first time and I learned about that because I didn't, because I want to open the vault. I want to see what's in there. But it turns out that these aren't connected at all, which is awesome. And if you'll remember in the last video, I talked about how I only got one mythic in that whole 15 card set. And, my, and the mythic was this like wild card and it made me kind of upset because I didn't even get a real card. Turns out this is better than a real card because this is any mythic card that you want. Any mythic card in the entire in this arena game can be made with this wild card. So planeswalkers. I could make a Gideon. Just make one. Uh Hazaret. Really freaking expensive in real life. I could just make it with this card. Scarab God. I could have one. Just make it. And I think that that's super, super cool. So I did actually go through and used a few commons and uncommons just to kind of fill out the deck with some some things that I wanted. But I didn't want to use everything because I don't really, I don't know, I, I'd like to save them for when I really know what I want to use them for. Like this, this mythic card, I think I'm going to turn this into the Scarab God and play some kind of like blue, black, white, cycling 
graveyard deck or something. Uh, but Scarab God doesn't go in this deck, so I didn't worry about using this. But because I wanted to kind of show you the process of making a card. Am I still a mythic? I am. I only have the one Drake Haven in the deck, and I'd like to have at least two. And I've got two more of these gold wild cards, so I'm just going to make another Drake Haven. And now that card automatically gets slotted into the deck, and now we're ready to go. I could make a third Drake Haven, but this is just like a beta. People have just started getting into the game. And I'm sure there are plenty of other people out there as well that have been making their own decks. But I figured we'll keep it a little fair for the people still using the the original ten decks. So I don't wanna I don't wanna make this too much. So let's let's test this out. Super excited. Yes, save. Super excited to test out this deck. Cycling. Play. Ooh, this guy's ranked two. Well, maybe it's a good thing I'm using a custom deck if he's already ranked two. Because if I remember correctly, not only am I still rank one, but I'm like very low in rank one. Now, of course. I've only played three games and I lost two of them very, very badly. But still, I did win one and I didn't get very much like rank percentage for that win, so Ooh, he's doing a lot of mulliganing. I wonder if he's just getting all lands like I did. Oh, he's going to be nice. Hello, friend. Oh, good game to you, too. Ooh. Well, I'm going to play my cat on turn two. Remember, kids, don't crack your fetches until the end of their turn, because you don't want to show off what colors you're playing ahead of time. Okay, I was hoping I'd get the cute meow that Sacred Cat did, but that was that was a little vicious. Okay, so this is the green-white deck, most likely. It, the picture had a cat on it, so I think it's like a green-white tokens kind of deck. I'll play an island and just leave up counter magic. No need to attack. <clears throat> What's that? Okay. I have two of those in my deck. Cycling lands. Very good with Drake Haven. Oh, and he's waiting on me. I knew that would happen again. My turn. Ooh, this is going to be really fun. But I can't play it this turn because I've got Evolving Wilds. And we will leave up counter magic. Because we're blue white and that's what we do. Gotta keep them nice and organized. Look at this guy. No base. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I'm really glad I haven't played this anointed procession yet. Ooh, so I could counter that. 
Do I just want to cast out it? I think I'm just going to counter it. Because I will play this Anointed Procession and I have plenty of like enchantment removal that I don't want him being able to blow up. Alright, this is not a great time to not be drawing lands. I could Champion of Wits for another land, but I really want to play Anointed Procession. I There's a lot of token synergy with his deck, of course, because of Drake Haven making tokens. So I'm super excited to just get a million tokens with Anointed Procession. Ooh, cat. Dice draw a card. Alright, land. I guess we want to go ahead and champion of wits and we can leave up either of these. Make sure it leaves up the right mana. Some nice cycling cards. I don't really want to discard anything, honestly. I have a feeling he's not going to be playing very many non-creatures. Honestly, have no idea. So, end of turn, we can cycle renewed faith. Ooh. That's going to be annoying. That will get cast outed very quickly. This does have flash, so I don't have to do it now. Maybe I can get him. Does this... Each other cat you control. Okay. Just making sure I wasn't pumping his cat. Okay, my cats are just way more vicious than his were. I thought maybe it was because I have the the pouncer. I thought that's why it sounded much darker, more grim than sacred cat. But my sacred cat is just not having it. Oh, he ended his turn. Well, in that case, I'm just going to draw cards. Sweet. So now I could actually put Pride Sovereign on the top of his deck and then counter it when he tries to cast it again. Six. I'll just leave up six. Just playing the waiting game. Because since I, you know, made the custom deck and kind of got to put together all of the good cards from every other deck, 
you know, because all ten card, all ten decks have a couple rares and a different mythic. Well, now my deck has several rares and several mythics, so I feel like I'm gonna have a better top end than him if he's just playing the basic deck. Bite, plus one, and trample. Okay. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> you fighting sacred cat? I mean, no one messes with my sacred kitty. Get out of here. Okay. Was he waiting on me? I thought I was waiting on him. But then my time started to go down. It. It's, yeah, it's his turn. Huh. And that'll pump up my my flying tokens once I finally get some of those going. To get too hasty. Just gonna play it slow. Play it slow and draw a ton of cards. I could cycle that. I was gonna say, well, I'd rather have a land drop than cycle it, but just drew another one. I do need the lands. This is why I don't play control. Because it's so boring. I just want to play tons of tokens and get lots of cool things. Ooh, there's Jake. Hey, was that really the next card? Look at all these rares. All of these are rares. I want all of them. I mean, of course it's Drake Haven. It's not gonna not be Drake Haven. Wait. Did I do that during my turn? I thought that was the end of his turn. He flashed it in at the end of my turn. And, okay, I'm just, I'm a dummy. I'm a big old dummy. I even could have played the Drake. No, I couldn't have played Drake Haven because it was the end of turn. Jeez, I just feel like a big old dummy. Now let's start getting two Drake tokens a turn. Oh, okay. So he does have more than just the cat.
I guess I could have countered that. <laughs> I'm not great at this game. But it's fine. I'm just gonna block with these guys. that I think he'll still get the token hmm see I messed up before and now I'm paying for it I will try it I think he's still gonna get the token Yeah, still got the token. I think it said something about me timing out. That was not great. Oh, uh, now I'm gonna start getting extra cards a turn. Man, magic's fun. Magic is good stuff. Now we'll get two cat tokens and a real cat. Man, this guy's really nice. Is there a thank you button? No. Horse again. Well, this time countering it for sure. It's kind of awkward how they make you choose the mode for the card. Cool if there was a if it was a little bit easier. I can't believe how many times I've compared this game to Magic Online but wishing that this game was more like Magic Online to make it easier? Who has ever said that? I probably shouldn't play out everything. I feel like that's kind of frowned upon. But I'm gonna do it. And if I start attacking with other things, I can start eternalizing. Yeah, let's let's just let's just go for it. Nope. 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 Took everything. I have to remember to draw a card at the end of the turn. <laughs> kind of important. creature type he chose. I mean, I know it's a cat type, but I bet you at some point he will pick horse. In some game, he will pick horse for that. Damage. 
to activate. I won't cycle just in case. Try to play at least a little bit of real magic. This time we want to keep them back to block. All right, where's that board wipe? You're playing white. Chanted creature can't attack or block. I could counter that, but I think I'll cycle instead and just get a new drink token. Oh, but he gains life. I was not paying enough attention to that. Oh, you can add stops? Oh, that changes everything. Oh man. Oh man, in the game, there's like a fly sound. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm wearing headphones so I can hear it really well. And it's really bothering me. Not me. I clicked the button. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I can. Cycle. Draw a card. I think it's overkill at this point. But. Oh well. Right, where? There. Nope. Don't go away. Okay, so now you're gonna manually make me do it. I think we can actually get rid of the blue desert. And then now we can actually do this again if we want. Okay. Finally won another game. Ooh, and we get this up. So we get 50 more gold. We get a card. Breasted Herd Caller. Oh, this is supposed to be really good and limited. So I can only imagine it'd be really good here, too. Oh, see, this went up again. So how many times can I do this? Is it... Is it supposed to be like this? Is it bugged? Huh. Well... 
that was another game of Magic Arena with a custom deck. And I will probably be playing a lot more of this just to kind of test it out, figure things out. Um, I'm probably just going to spend all of these because before the game actually goes live, they're going to have to reset it. And I heard somewhere that if you buy gems, I know right now it was not letting me buy gems, but I heard somewhere that if you do buy gems, you will be refunded them after the reset. So there, I know there's going to be some kind of reset, so I don't feel bad about spending all these and building cool new decks, which hopefully I will show you guys later. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Hopefully I'll have some more content for you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>